Hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Kenyon Sesums, and today I will be doing a reusable hand wrap tutorial for you. When I say reusable hand wrap, I mean by using gauze, right? Gauze for hand wraps, not the actual cotton hand wraps that you would use. So the heads up that I will give you guys is that it will be a pretty lengthy tutorial as I will walk through each step and fully, if you want a shorter version of that, I will link it below. It will be in the description where I actually speed that up and do a time lapse. That will be located on my Instagram, but this is the full slowed down tutorial for you guys so you can see every single step that is going on and I will show you as best as I can. If you have any questions along the way, please save them, type them down in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can or you can DM me on Instagram. So the tools that I'm using is two rolls of gauze. So two rolls of gauze. Also, I'm using Empire tape. So I use basically like one and a half roll of Empire tape. Um, this is the one inch tape. So this is half an inch tape. Now the half an inch tape, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the half an inch tape right here is um, used really just to put through the fingers. I usually cut out a few strips of it and that's what I use to go through the fingers. So this roll will last an extremely long time um, in order to make it reusable. So the thing about a reusable wrap is when you try and go to use the gauze wrap again, what usually happens as soon as you cut that gauze open, um, all of the insides of it, the layers of gauze start to fall out. Now this pre-wrap for me to use this is self adhesive wrap. For me to use this before the wrap to put on my hands, what happens is when I go and I cut it open, the rest of that uh, wrap, anything, it won't fall out. And then of course I have a pair of medical scissors. Um, I got these on Amazon for like $12 or something like that. Maybe even lower than that, maybe $8. I'll link all of this stuff in the description below so that you guys can check it out. And then last but not least, I have a flyer. Now this flyer, you can use any postcard, a piece of cardboard, anything that you wanna use. Most uh, coaches like get a piece of cardboard that they cut out to like almost the width of the fighters. Uh, hand. Now for me this is about a little bit wider than what my knuckles are so that really helps me um, to make a padding that's about my uh, about the correct size for me. And that's it. Let's start on the wrap. I start off by using a flyer and a gauze to make a pad. Wrap it around a flyer about 40 to 50 times. start the prep for the tape that will go between my fingers and the tape that will go from an inch behind my knuckles to the base of the wrap. My first layer of the wrap is the self-adhesive gauze or some tape face and sticky side up. I wrap these around my hand the same way I will wrap the gauze. This helps prevent the gauze from falling out when I cut it open at the end. using self-adhesive gauze, I start wrapping the regular gauze around my hand, starting from the bottom of the wrist. Because this is a wrap for training, you will see me use more gauze and tape than I normally do. And if you are following along, wrap the gauze around as many times as you feel comfortable. So I wrap my hand with the first layer of gauze, I place the padding using my finger. Sometimes if I have someone there, I use someone else's help to hold the pad in place or even my chin if I need to. I then start wrapping the gauze around my knuckles to hold the gauze in place. 
I usually do a few layers around the knuckles and the X pattern before coming back up to the knuckles to secure the pad. Pay close attention right here after folding the pad because I start off with a slightly looser layer of gauze just to keep the folded pad in place and then I start to tighten up the layer going from the bottom of the pad to the top where the knuckles are. This way the pad at the top can be packed down and tight giving me more protection when punching. After securing the pad, I go around my thumb two to three more times making some more X patterns and work my way back down to the wrist. first layer of tape I use to secure the wrist and wrap the thumb. For this I use a single layer around the wrist but go around the thumb twice. From there I will add the tape between the fingers. Putting the tape between the fingers can be a little tricky by yourself because to ensure you are packing the pad down, you will have to put pressure on the pad while your fist is balled. Once you get that first piece of tape done, the rest will get easy. After putting all three pieces, I like to put a piece of tape at my wrist just to secure the tape between the fingers. That is done, I start putting strips of tape down the back of my hand, starting one inch behind the knuckles all the way down to the base of the wrap at my wrist.
I start my X pattern with the tape. I like to do three diagonal strips on each side. next step is optional so you can skip this step and go straight to closing a wrap i actually learned this from cutman sheldon from empire pro tape and he puts vertical strips of tape starting from you know where you put your tape by the knuckles are and pull it tight down to the base of the wrap now what i realize is that this really helps pack the gauze down in the wrap but it's really difficult to do effectively by yourself I'm still practicing right now how to get it the way that he does it. The first time I tried this, I tried to roll out the tape directly on my hand and that did not work for me at all. So now I pre-cut the strips, but as you can see, I made the strips way too long. Now from my hand, I'm realizing it is about eight to nine strips to cover the back of my hand and thumb. Um, if you try this on yours, it may be different. So it'll just be trial and error for you. this I get my scissors and I start to press down the tape I really feel like this usually helps the tape stick a little bit better and it further packs down my wrap time to start closing out the wrap. I start at the base of the wrap and work my way up going around my thumb one time. tear it off and start another piece going from wrist up to my knuckles to help secure that bar in the palm of the hand. start another layer of strips to the back of my hand from an inch behind the knuckles down to my wrist now I know this is a lot of tape or seem like a lot of tape but it actually was only one roll exact um, but this is my training wrap and I will use it multiple times over the next few weeks so I really need it to be secure and similar to a cast
piece of tape around my thumb and go down the wrist locking the wrap. This is to seal the tape and really activate the adhesive. is to cut the excess wrap so you can loosen the palm area and let your hand breathe a little bit sometimes the wrap will be so tight that you'll start to feel that numbing or you feel like you can't fully make a fist opening that up just helps with that a little bit last and final step of the entire process is to cut open your wrap and tape the edges so you can use it over and over again. Thank you for sticking around if you got to this point. I know that was an extremely long video. I tried to short it up by speeding it up and things of that nature, but we are done with the wrap. We are done with the wrap. It's finished in its entirety. And you know, that is how you do a reusable wrap now. Disclaimer is like, you do not have to wrap it the same exact way that I wrapped it. You can wrap it however you want, whatever fits your hands. I could have stopped a lot earlier. I just know that this is a wrap I will use in training for my next professional fight. So for me, I wanted to make sure it fits my hands, which means I did extra layers of tape. I used a ton of tape because I tend to have fragile hands and when I throw my hook, I sometimes mess up my wrist. So I wanted that extra support. You wrap it to your taste, however much tape, however, however much tape you would like and however much gauze you would like. Um, but that is the method now. One more keynote, I'm sorry, I know this is long. One more keynote before we go away is, on the inside, I used a 
self-adhesive gauze. The self-adhesive gauze is what's in here. It's soft, and if I'm not mistaken, it'll absorb the sweat pretty well. Some people use tape, but they just reverse the tape on the other side. I can tell you from using both, the tape stays a lot easier, and the re, uh, this gauze, this self-adhesive gauze, I feel like just absorbs the sweat a little bit better than the tape does. If that makes sense, why, I don't know. But again, thank you for sticking around. I truly appreciate it. And until the next video, see you later.